So far this evening, been a what good card so far. Yes. Light heavyweight, really usually some big bangers. Any predictions? This is where you started here, yeah. on the on the four rounders and that. Yeah. What was your uh, first pro fight? Our first fight was in the gym. Six rounds, right? Let's see. Nah, we got any fireworks? Four rounds, yeah. Where are you all going to start, I think? Nice jab. Camilla. Jab. He's got a good jab, this kid. Yeah, he's nice and relaxed. It certainly is. It means a lot to have great composure. Best punch in the book, I think, is left jab. Ooh, he's getting plenty of extension on him as well. That boy's just feeling things out with the lead hand. Lead left hook, and a right hand, all of it. He looks sharp, Carmelo. No nerves, he just seems so relaxed in the early parts of the first round. Face John I. Solar fighting. Mark Curio in his corner will be telling him just to get get his range and get him right on the end of his punches. He's more more effective with his power when you get that beautiful range. There we go. It's a good learning fight for this kid. Punches out like. Stay calm, girl. Stay calm. Don't swing. Right. The last concluding stages of the first round. Here we go. Focus on the round one. What do you think of that round, Punch? Oh, the first group is uh, boxing style for Melo. Not very good. Your pose. Your first group is not high. That's not right. You see, you're going to have to go around. I like to turn up the next round, but I think it's a uh, tough thing to say. One point. He's got a little bit more head movement. He's got to be far more punch than nice. He's got to be involved in it. Well, Miller has established his uh, sense of range a little bit better. Yeah. Josh has been uh, out of range a little bit for his punches. What was your take on that round, Belair? The guy in the group wanted to dominate. Yeah. <laughs> Once he finds his range, I think he's definitely. Yeah. He's done. 
trying to do that now. He's going to Here we go, round two. Second round. Warm now. Cooking with gas. He seems a lot more confident now. Come in. He's established his jab and then back it up with the right end after everything else. Nice body shot. Controlling the ring. I guess with a wave of right hand. Right up cuts, eh? When uh, Ike leans into those punches, I think Carmelo can win. Really Getting a good right hand then. So it's a big right hand uppercut there if he times it correctly. Prediction, I reckon we might have another stoppage. So. Uh, we would have to. The moment Camellia uh, finds his uh, range, um, that could happen. I haven't seen for any straight punches yet. And again with the right hand. going to get back to establishing that jab and just nothing wrong with a simple one two straight down the pipe. Yeah, it's the most important punch in the book to jab. And why not try and set up all your shots with your jab first and get those fundamentals right. That's right. It's amazing to watch some boxers these days that they aren't taught the fundamentals of the art one two. They're trying to reinvent the world. Punch in the book, the old one, two. Yeah, I love it. One both rounds in the No doubt, no doubt at all. He's pitching the distance. Jab, one, two. I think mean, he wants to take it on. I think he does that both in the different combinations. Green and balls. And really go, go to work. John Ace's uh, timing is way off. And Camellia is just the he, he, little sharp. that wrong, Camilio. Here comes the start of round three. Yeah. Round three comes out, Leisha. One, two, what we said. Stick to the basics. Stick to the basics and you're doing well. Nice job. Nine times nice out of ten, you come out of the win. Really do think exactly what you just said. Now. If you can start stringing three and four punch combos together with those basics, we might see this. For sure. Yeah. Mm. You know, that jab, the jab is just, just constantly, in, constantly in his face. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. 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 He comes back with a big bolo, John Eight. Then another one. I think John Ake was considering playing for the West Indies. 
<laughs> Coming in as a pace bowler at one stage. <laughs> Jeb in the Nice lead left hook. Sharp. Will he bring the right hand behind him? Playing with you at the moment. Oh, nice nice job. job. Nice job on the team. Yeah. Getting through his defence. <laughs> that right hand's there all night. See how, yeah, I'd uh, love to see him he drops throw it, that up. Yeah, he drops that left hand. Uh, it's like to see John Oak move his head a bit more. Come forward. Swing back on that back foot in front of the counter right in over the top. Well, not. I just want to see Leshak commit a little bit more. I know he's sitting on the edge, but I just want to really want him to go in there and go to the foot. Yeah, there you go. That's a bit of right hand. You just want to be careful, Camilio. At least John could throw one out of nowhere and, and then I've seen it happen before. some power behind it if he just really commits and sits down and crosses the line, crosses the border. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Really establish that right hand and put it into him. I think all 
what he's got to do is follow up and finish with the right hand. He's throwing plenty of up jabs and jabs. Knocking him now. He's down on the cards. He's really looking for that, that one big shot. Yeah, that's all he's got, right? That's ball right there. It's a matter of whether he's going to land it. Oh. 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 doing a good job of getting out of the way. Certainly do. You just stick to his long punches and just finish the He's ahead. Well done. Just staying out of the way of that big ball over. So, Alicia now. He's definitely lunging. Thank you. 
the back end of the grind tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Looking forward to it. How many amateur fights did you have? I really should know this, but I've lost multiple blue books. I know I've, I've surpassed the 100 mark. That's a lot of fights. That's a lot of fights. Yeah. And you haven't even got a squash nose. Uh, the nose has been broken twice. So <laughs> it, it's not the way it's first. <laughs> Well, 100 fights, that's a lot of fights. I had 92. 92? 92. As an amateur. You didn't crack the 100. No. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, sort of left in disgrace. What age? Uh, uni. Uh, so probably like 19. What other sports did you play? Did you keep growing up? As a netballer, net dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, boxing, fancy, but with contact. Sorry. You learn good. Exactly. So, what position did you play in that for? I loved centre court, but I got moved to defence pretty early on. Very good defence. So, you were down there. You were down the end. Going like that. Doing hill zones. They say it's not contact, but it's hustle a lot of shit. It's a tall girl. I met, uh, what's her name, the Australian, uh, I can't remember, I never remember her name. Liz Ellis? Yes. Yay. Funny girl. Funny girl. Yeah. Yeah.